X-Men movie producer Simon Kinberg is in talks to work with Paramount Pictures for an upcoming Star Trek movie. Should talks proceed, Kinberg will produce a currently untitled franchise film entry, thus opening the door to him potentially taking on more active creative roles for the series' film's outings. The project Kinberg is in talks to join is already in development, as reported by Deadline earlier this year, the new Star Trek movie, which is separate for Paramount's Star Trek IV and will be directed by Star Wars Andor's Toby Haynes. J.J. Abrams' Bad Robot is set to be attached to produce as well, with Seth Graham Smith set to pen the script. Details on the plot are thin. However, it takes place decades before 2009's reboot, led by Chris Pine, and involved the creation of Starfleet as well as humanity's first contact with aliens. No release date has been set, but Paramount is said to be targeting 2025 premiere, and it's been eight years since Star Trek Beyond, the most recent movie in the franchise, and the third starring Pine, came to theaters in 2016. Just earlier this month, it was reported that Sony Pictures and investment firm Apollo Global Management had submitted an all-cash offer for $26 billion to acquire Paramount. The move would make Sony a majority shareholder and Apollo a minority shareholder should the offer be accepted. Paramount includes names like Nickelodeon, CBS, Comedy Central, and more, as well as executive streaming services Paramount+. Plus. And it would also mean that Sony would take control of the Star Trek IP, though without confirmation that the deal has gone through, it's best to wait for the official confirmation before assuming too much. And, and just to touch on some of the topics that were mentioned, um, they have been talking about doing the Star Trek sequel now for eight years, and it seems like the only one who's still interested or at least still being asked, is Chris Pine. They've had different directors and writers attached, and so even if they tell you that Star Trek Four is around the corner, you know, just hold your breath. And what about the prequel? As I stated in a previous video months ago when the news of the prequel first dropped, that I believe that it was just going to retell the story of Commander's Archer's founding of the Federation. And the general plot of the founding episodes where they founded the Federation, that the founding races came together and overcame a Romulan plot to divide them. Uh, the episode or episodes that starts with season four, episode 12, Babel, all the way to season four, episode 14, the Anar. I think I said that right. Of course, in the modern retelling, there will be a lot more ships and explosions and lens flares and keeping with the Abrams, Kurtzman, Star Trek. And finally, when it comes to Simon Kinberg, he started his career off very strong. And then he really hit his stride around 2011. And that lasted for about a decade, where he produced and wrote X-Men movies, uh, Isilium, Cinderella, The Martian, Deadpool, Logan, Legion, Gifted. And he did have a stinger along the way with Fantastic Four, but he really didn't hit the cement floor until his directorial debut, which... He also wrote and produced, and that movie was Dark Phoenix, which killed the era of X-Men. And he followed that movie up with another stinker, The New Mutants, which I have just found out about today. And then he did 355 and A Haunting in Venice, and then he did a Netflix movie with Kevin Hart called Lift. So, a very steep decline. But there is hinting that he could finally be returning to his glory, ish with a tv show colin farrell sugar which he produced so maybe he can give us a really good star trek movie or we'll just keep getting what he's given us for the last four years